Hello and welcome back to NAS Compares and today I want to tell you just how easy it is to synchronize your QNAP NAS with a third party cloud provider such as Dropbox, Google Drive and the rest of it and how easy and fantastic it is to be able to have your localized cloud there as well as a little bit of cloud storage from a third party cloud provider like Google Drive and Dropbox and all those lot to back up those files that matter the most to you so you haven't got all your eggs in one basket. So let's get started. <laughs> When it comes to synchronizing a third party cloud with your QNAP NAS, it's actually surprisingly straightforward. However, there are different kinds of application that relate to different kinds of backing up. So here we are on the QNAP desktop here, we can see Cloud Backup Sync, Cloud Drive Sync, Google Cloud Storage, and Connect to Cloud Drive. So unlike the Synology applications available on DSM, there's a different app for different kinds of third party cloud migration. But what we'll do is we'll focus on the main one today, Dry, uh, cli, cli, uh, cloud Drive Sync. So straight away, if you are looking for any of these apps, just go straight to the App Center, and on the left-hand side, go to Backup and Sync. And in Backup and Sync, there you go. There's all the applications you're going to need there at the top that I've already pre-installed. But once you've set up, go to Cloud Drive Sync, and here you have the main interface. Now I've already synchronized a third party cloud here, but what we'll do is we're gonna remove that so I can show you just how straightforward it is. So the first thing you need to do is go to Cloud Account Management and click Create Account. Now for this, we're gonna go for a Google Drive and we're going to utilize the disposable account that we create on a previous video, nascompares.com. Not nascompares.com, what are you saying? Nascompares at gmail.com. Once you go into it, uh, it'll ask you to synchronize and ask permission. Once you give it permission, it will tell you how much storage there is and how much you've used. Click OK. And it will add that drive. So there we go. That lets us know how often, uh, how much data is on it, how much is left. And we haven't set up a schedule. So the next thing we want to do is synchronize job management. So in synchronize job management, we go to create job. And in here is the quick setup wizard that will talk us through it. So first thing we need to do is select the local path where we're gonna be backing to and from. So if we use for downloads, and we use the folder that we used for a previous video. Next, that's the account that we're going to utilize and you can have multiple accounts for cloud backups. And next, we want to choose the folder that we're gonna be backing up to on the cloud. So let's go for the Buffalo folder there. So we synchronize with that folder, next, and then we click next. And these are the two folders that will work between one another. So straight away, you can set up the schedule for when you want this synchronization to take place. And again, you can do synchronously, or no, you can do it uh, sporadically, or you can do it uh, any time you want, or just at once. So again, we will do it to start immediately. We hit next. If there's any problems with regard to the duplicate files, and those that create backups of files will know about this, you can rename them so no file will ever get uh, deleted over. And the next we can talk about uh, if you've got certain files that are too big and you don't want to use up all of your bandwidth or internet to do that, you can limit the size of some files to make sure they don't clog up all of your bandwidth. We go to the next and there you go. This lets us know in the event of a problem what the device will do. So if we call this test and it will let you know if it can't connect, it will try several times. After that, we go to confirm the settings and that's it. Now. Our third party cloud migration is up and running. But once again, as stated, there are different kinds of synchronization with third party cloud. That was just cl a cloud drive sync. If we move to Google cl Cloud Storage, this is a far more um, Google centric version of the previous application. This one giving you a far more accessible degree of access to both individual files and folders. So setting that up is much the same, but in this is a far more detailed tool for what you need. The same with Cloud Backup Sync. This gives you the ability to synchronize with other QNAPs as well as other network attached storage devices and cloud platforms. So if you do want to add, for example, another NAS vendor, you can add it to this. You just have to get the login credentials and the synchronization credentials correct, as well as multiple third-party cloud platforms. Here we go, real-time uh, real, real time repl repl bleh, replication. Remote replication, there you go, my memory's not that good, but that has been third-party cloud syncing with a QNAP NAS. Do check out my video on the Synology, and I will be covering more and more little eccentricities and the little-known uses 
of a NAS at the home. I know this doesn't seem like a little known use, but you would be amazed how many people are not, not taking advantage of this feature. But thank you so much for watching. Do, do remember, if you want to buy your first network attached storage device, Span.com, the NAS experts, are the guys to go to. If you want to learn more about NAS and see more of the wordy versions of these guides, do visit me at nascompares.com. And finally, if you've got a question, find me on Twitter and send me a message at Robbie on the Tube. Thanks for watching. Bye bye, robot.